Ooh, daddy. Hi guys, Alex here, and today we've got a doozy. So every now and then I like to take a look at Eric Cook's video. I think he gives us a good behind the scenes on what's going on in the Kentucky house that we don't usually get to see on Amberlynn's channel. So we're going to take a look at his new vlog, and this does have more dislikes than likes, but that's really not anything new when it comes to Eric Cook's channel. I feel like he doesn't deserve all the hate that he gets. I do feel like some of it is put on just because of his association with Miss uh, Reed. But we're going to take a look at his video and just decide for ourselves if it warrants a like or a dislike. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get right into it. I mean, shall we? And this is against my better judgment good morning everyone good morning so we get a look at the house behind the scenes i do notice like it does seem pretty cluttered these days and i feel like all of them minus ricky who i don't think is working right now actually but they're all in there and you know it's still pretty cluttered so as you guys know being trapped in the house not really being able to go anywhere or do anything so it being the weekend, we kind of just are the, I don't even know, just staying in, trying to find something to occupy, 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 occupy ourselves. And I don't, I did notice that a lot of the comments, uh, that were written to him on this video stated because I did like to take a look. They did state that, um, you know, it's not really a change for him. He doesn't really leave the house much anyways but that could just be due to the fact that they live in rural kentucky and he does not have his uh he doesn't have a car yet i believe he got his license so good for him that is something that he did accomplish um but there probably aren't many options for public transit no it's like 80 degrees outside so maybe we can go outside don't we have the badminton set somewhere in the garage yes somewhere in the garage. So maybe we can go out there and play some badminton. I don't know, just find something to, you know, do around the house. You don't have to go out and do something to have fun. But right now, Ricky just got on making us breakfast and he made it homemade. Let me show you guys. He's so proud of himself. He's like, we are never buying canned biscuits ever. Let's see how this stacks up to our girl's famous cooking. I know that I made her taco soup, which I didn't think was like all that bad, but honestly, the spinach totally ruined it. Again, and he made them from scratch literally on his own. Let me show you guys. This is how they turned out. My God, my God. And you say they're like really good? Normally, <clears throat> I have to have something on a biscuit. Jelly, jam, jelly. Something on a biscuit. I bet, oh my God, these are so good. I finally figured out what I did Are wrong. they like crumbly? Oh yes, super easy too, try this. Yeah. And you made that from scratch. They do look similar to the grands that you would get um, in the Pillsbury can, but I don't know. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I'm very proud of this. Look at that polka dot purse. It reminded me of Foodie Beauty's shirt for some reason. <laughs> she wears that uh, white shirt with the black polka dots a lot. I am getting ready to go for like a walk, jog. I'm trying to get out of the house since this whole quarantine and COVID going around is just... And here we are again, like just a lot of clutter, you guys. I don't know about you, but I decluttered my room like a few months ago, but it just, it wasn't that bad anyways. But honestly, clutter just bothers me. You would think that they would want to take um, Amberlynn out for a walk. I mean, to stand beside them, not on a leash. But uh, if I was living with Amberlynn, I would try to like get her to exercise maybe. Maybe that's just me. Maybe their anxiety is just too high to do that. Where so many people are getting infected and it's just, it's killed so many people. Everybody's been cooped up in their house. So I'm going to try to just go for like a quick walk or jog around the block to just get out of the house because since this has been going on, my depression, anxiety, which it was already bad before this, I guess, you know, seasonal depression, it just has gotten 10 times worse. And it just seems like I don't really move at all i don't like want to even leave my bedroom i kind of isolate myself i can understand like the seasonal depression because i don't have um seasonal depression but i used to and honestly when it gets really cold out and it just gets dark super early i can understand that for sure i haven't uh, talked with my sister like text her like it's been a while since we've even talked 
I like don't really talk or hang out with anyone anymore. I don't text them. I don't call them. I've just kind of like lost contact with a lot of my friends and family. And it really sucks. It's just, I don't know. Well, if it uh, sucks so bad, why don't you just pick up the phone and give them a call? I actually reached out to more family members during this than I did before it. So that's like a silver lining. Obviously, you can't just go ahead and hang out with anyone. I mean, that's not advised for anybody to do. So I'm trying to break that mold and get out of that little funk that I've been in. And just, I don't know, just try breaking out of the mundane because I can't keep doing this because it's just going to get me nowhere. So hopefully, you know, going outside, getting some sunshine, some vitamin D, and just trying to move around a bit more. I know that helps with depression, like exercising. So whenever Ricky and I were going to the gym back then, it really did help my depression, getting out of the house, exercising, just gave me something to look forward to. So Hopefully I'll feel better after this and maybe I will try doing this every day. I don't even I don't understand why him and Amber like talk about going outside to get their vitamin D. Like I never really heard anyone say that specifically. Perhaps that's just because most people leave the house um if, when this kind of thing isn't going on. They leave the house every day and they don't really have to worry about their vitamin D from the sun, but I just never heard that before. No about this whole situation I'm kind of like even scared to leave the house I know it's stupid to even just go for a walk so I'll see you guys after yeah I heard like in LA you have to wear a mask just to go out for a walk or the police will stop you at least I heard someone say that on Twitter I think it was Blair White so I'm in the middle of jump roping out back and I thought I let me set this down I was in the middle of jump roping out back and Cause I just came back from the walk and then I started jump roping because I did not run on the walk. I just jogged. I mean, jogged. I walked. I was like, I'm not, I'm not running. Baby steps, baby steps. So I was like, you know, I still have a lot of energy. I didn't really feel like I broke a sweat or out of breath. So I was like, let me come back and I'll jump rope. I'm outside and I hear the dog. It'd be interesting to see Amberlynn try um, jump roping. Dog's barking and I'm like, what's going on? And I hear, I was like, I thought I heard a doorbell ring. And I was like, no, because I was like, the mail already ran. So I was like, there's no way. That is either some bad black under my eyes or that's the way the light's hitting it. We don't really I need like to see that. In the eye. Yeah, I've been sleeping the greatest, as you guys can tell. That's some bad dark circles. I think he ate um, our girl's cereal and she didn't exactly, she wasn't exactly too pleased about that. So that's where that came from. <laughs> can you guys imagine? But I go outside because there's so many doors or houses like the... A door over there, a door over there, a door over there, back door, like, there's like four or five doors. So, I'm in the back, which I don't know why I just didn't loop around. Okay, so here's like another thing to be paranoid about, right? I always wonder, like, why don't they just move out at this point? Like, they seem to have outgrown each other. You never really see them together. Um, the other housemates and, of course, Eric and Ricky, you don't really see them together too much. They used to go out to eat relatively often. I realize they can't do that right now. Um... Because Amberlynn's on a weight loss journey. <laughs> That's what's stopping them. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I didn't know which door because I'm like, well, maybe they're at the front door or they're at the glass door. And so I come inside and I'm like, I go to the sliding glass door. There's not a package there. So I was like, it wasn't the UPS guy. I go outside. I'm looking around because the window right there and I seen a guy walking away. I was like, oh, okay, that must be like a male guy. I don't know. He was wearing a blue shirt. That's why I bought that. And it was actually our neighbor. We've... I guess we've seen each other, but we've never really truly like spoke to each other. And so he was out there and he was like, hello, you know, what was that? And he like went like this with his elbow. And I was like, oh, hey, I did it back. And he was like, you know, me and the wife, you know, we've been dividing it up and going to the store and this and that. That's the thing. Do you guys know your neighbors? Like I, I do know like what they look like, obviously, because I see them outside, but I don't really know them specifically. I remember like just a decade ago, uh, at least in the old neighborhood I lived in, like I knew my neighbors. Uh, my parents talk to them a lot, but now it's really not like that. I don't know if it's just like the times or maybe I'm a bad neighbor. I don't know. Picking things up. So I guess they went, he like went out and grabbed something. Then she went to one store and grabbed something to like, you know, get a bunch of shopping done at once. So he's like, we grabbed way too many tomatoes. So he's like, you know, let's, you know, give them to somebody because we don't want them just sitting around going bad. So, so he actually brought us some tomatoes over. He gave us about two tomatoes. Oh, wow. Like, oh, well, thank you. I was like, that's really sweet. It took us like quite a few minutes to get to that, but um, we got some tomatoes, y'all. 
thought that was just really kind of them because I mean I know we're neighbors and all that but we don't really talk to each other so it's it was just it was really kind and his wife was over there because they have like this nice like uh screen like in patio like back porch thing whatever I don't know jealous of it a screened but, in porch it's quite a concept right way but his wife was in there she's like you're welcome you know have a nice day i was like well thank you have a nice day well there's some of that small town feel you know that kentucky friendliness they were just really kind and sweet but yeah i may actually put a tomato on my sandwich when i make one after i get done jump roping i'm gonna go out there and try wow to what a concept talk about southern hospitality we could talk about questionable fashion choices. I mean, I haven't seen shorts like that in quite a few years. Maybe they're coming back into style. Maybe I should get myself a pair. He's so wearing his ring. ring. So let me tell you guys the story. Or do you want to tell them? Well, I don't like the story. So. Okay. Well, I'll so tell. yesterday was the weirdest thing ever. So you know how I told you guys that the ring was supposed to be shipped to us because that's what I was told. So I get a call from the woman because obviously she has her, well, my number. And she left my nose is running like crazy today i need to go take a claritin so anyway sorry but I feel you so in the last video he was going on and on about how he wasn't going to be able to get his ring because um the store was closed for obvious reasons she calls me and leaves me a voicemail because i didn't recognize the number and i was like uh because it wasn't from the store it was her personal number and then she texts me and she's like hey you know let me know uh whenever you get this message you know i'll contact you i got your ring in and I'll send you my address. So she sent, I finally answered her back and she was like, yeah, I have it here at her house. So we had to personally go to her house to pick up the ring. I don't know. It was the weirdest thing ever. I, I don't know. It was just really strange. And I was, it's a beautiful home. Yeah. I mean, honestly, in these times, in these crazy, crazy times, it doesn't really seem all that weird to me. It's not like completely abnormal, right? Especially in a small town like that. She has a beautiful home. She has like a three car garage thing like a port on her house but it was just the weirdest thing for someone to call you and be like hey i have your ring at my house come pick it up i don't know it was just very odd and i was talking with everybody and they're like um yeah that's really weird they're like that's kind of sketchy but i mean we have the ring which we paid for so yes i was gonna get the ring uh but i mean she's a jeweler so obviously her uh business isn't open right now i don't see it like really all that sketchy but go off I feel like I know it's going to come up in the comments section, but honestly, can we talk about the hair for a second? I'm not like a connoisseur of man buns. I just really don't like them. I know that Chantal and Pete's, Pete's was talking about giving himself a man bun, and wanted Chantal's advice on it. I'd say don't. I feel like they, uh, their popularity was more like 2015, 2016, and it's starting to just seem a little bit outdated to me. I know like haircuts are hard to get in this time but we can always just go for a clean shave start fresh i don't know what do you guys think if you guys have not seen it i recommend watching it it's a good movie it's about people that get trapped on what is that the ski lift and they get trapped up there and it's like i don't know it's really really good i enjoyed it i think ricky did too i don't know if you did okay but i don't want to speak for you but i'm going to <laughs> But it was a good movie. You guys should try watching it. I mean, you're locked up in the house anyways. You don't have an excuse not to. But right now, because I got off on this rambling little tangent that I'm known for doing. I mean, it's like one of my many redeeming qualities. But right. he had an idea of what he wanted to do for dinner. And he... I have dust and hair on me where I was trying to get that stuff from underneath the bed. And I was sweeping and mopping in there. Well, no, I didn't mop. I slept. I need to mop. <sighs> what was I saying? Chop oh, to it. Ricky wanted to make chicken alfredo pizza so we he's chopping the chicken right now and onions we picked up some mushrooms bacon bits and then he wanted penne pasta and um they you know someone for someone who talks about um their stomach issues all the time that does seem like something that might irritate it i'm not an expert but do not have like the pizza dough like make your own kits which they don't really have much of anything at the stores so I bought these little, well, let me just show you. Ultra thin, like pizza crust. They are ultra thin, but I mean, they look good to me. So I'm gonna use these mushrooms, bacon bits. I don't really care for the artificial kind where it's all crunchy. Like if I'm having bacon bits, it needs to be real. So I paid a little <laughs> more for it, but 
I need a little bit of All right, I can't do this anymore. I just can't do it anymore. I can understand why Eric Cook honestly gets the dislikes that he gets. And maybe it's not even to do with Amber Lynn. I just realized that like when he has Ricky Moore in the video, there are more thumbs up when it's just him droning on and on and on about, you know, his mental problems, the myriad of issues that he has, whether it's his stomach or just something. I mean, you would think that these healthy young men in their late twenties would be just that, but I don't know, perhaps that is the hypochondriac house. We know our girl loves to self-diagnose. So I'm just going to leave it there. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I will of course catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.